I want to show you how you can start creating sticker packs from everyday normal photos using something called Photoshop Actions. This will make those everyday photos completely unique to you and will allow you to actually sell them and make money from them. Originally, I wanted to show you how you could do this using the Photopia or Photopea app. I don't actually know how to say it. And it was brilliant. Everything was working until it wasn't. And at that point, I was just stumped. I couldn't figure it out. So I decided I'm going to have to just make this video using Photoshop. But don't worry, it's still incredibly, incredibly simple. And I'm going to give you the exact step by step. I just want to quickly say Photoshop is the only paid element of this entire video, so don't worry. It's a super awesome way to create sticker packs. This video idea stemmed from Passive Owl's video where he shows you how to create Redbubble stickers. I wanted to add to it with showing you how to use Photoshop actions to create sticker packs. A Photoshop action allows you to do what seems to be an incredibly complicated piece of graphical design work with literally no skill at all, just a simple press of the play button. It can transform an image into this or this, basically anything really. Photopia or Photopea, which is a free online equivalent to Photoshop, does allow you to use Photoshop actions. However, I couldn't get it to work and Photopea isn't 100% free. Only 30 steps in the history is free, which in my opinion is pretty rubbish. So back to Photoshop for now. And in case you're wondering, the actions we're going to be using are directly from the Adobe website and they encourage you to use them both for personal and commercial projects. So before starting, please smash that like button. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it. And let's see if we can get this video to 500 likes in the first day. Okay, let's get right into it. First, we're going to head over to Unsplash to get our photos. Before getting our photos, let's quickly look at their license. We can use any photos for free or for commercial use with no permission required. However, we have to make significant modifications. Well, that's what the Photoshop action is for. So brilliant. Looks like we're going to be absolutely fine. Let's search for retro cameras and download a few different ones. Remember, this is a sticker pack, not just a single sticker. And I thought, Retro cameras is a pretty cool looking sticker. It's something I would buy. So let's just do that. Once we've downloaded those sticker packs, you want to upload them to remove.bg to get rid of the background. You can use any site you like. I'm just suggesting this one as it has a free option, albeit the quality of the image isn't that good. If you want to keep the quality and you're already using Photoshop for the action part, then you can just remove the background in Photoshop too. The next thing we want to do is open a Photoshop file, which is 2800 by 2800 pixels. This is what Redbubble say on their website. Now we're going to open our camera in another Photoshop file. It should look like this. You can see at the top, we have one canvas open at 2800 by 2800 pixels and another open for our camera. The next thing you want to do is get a Photoshop action. And we're going to head over to creativecloud.adobe.com to get our action. A simple download and then just double click and it should show up in Photoshop. I just want to add, you can also pay for Photoshop actions if you really want to. The libraries of Photoshop actions is endless and there is so much stuff you can do. But for this video, we're just going to keep it free. You may have to click Windows then actions for it to pop up on the side like this. Next, all you want to do is click play and let Three, the magic two, happen. One. Once it's finished, you may want to manually change it a bit. So for this action, I'm going to hide the background layer and some of the spray painty layer simply by clicking that little eye. This is to make it look a bit cleaner because bear in mind, this is a sticker. So we want transparent backgrounds. We want people to be able to stick it on something and make it look nice and clean. Once that's done, I want to select all and make a new folder. Now I can right click, duplicate that folder into our sticker 
pack canvas. And that was easy. Now all I need to do is repeat this four times to fill the sticker pack and then save as a PNG and upload it to Redbubble. Seems simple enough. And there you have it, a sticker pack. There are phone apps as well that let you turn images into cartoony effects. One that comes to mind is Prisma, but I'm unsure as to whether you can sell images with their effects. I went through the entire license agreement and couldn't find an answer. My God, did that take a long time. Anyway, that is how you can turn an ordinary photo into a very cool cartoony effect sticker. And bear in mind, this doesn't just have to be for a sticker pack. You can also do this for individual stickers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.